Alabama takes the field against USC tomorrow. Those who know history may remember a game between these two teams that broke racial barriers. It was nearly 46 years ago when Alabama took on USC at Legion Field. It was the first integrated game in Alabama and have some saying that USC's running back Sam Bam Cunningham did more to integrate Alabama in 60 minutes than Martin Luther King Jr. had accomplished in 20 years. And joining us now with a story that you'll see only on CBS 42, this guy, sports reporter Chris well, Mac, who talked with the man about the historical significance of that day. You know, it's crazy. When I was growing up, I always heard about this game. Yeah. And, and people would always tell me, oh, Sam ran for 250 yards and 50 touchdowns. In <laughs> reality, I mean, he still had a great game. It was about right. 135 and two touchdowns. But as you said, that the bigger deal was all the minds that he changed off the field. Yeah. So, uh, you know, in, in, when he came to Alabama, he knew that he was entering, you know, kind of a – uh, hostile area. Yeah, I, I mean, it was, uh, it was a time that you know a lot, lot was going on. We had heard about Jackie Robinson. Of course, Jackie Robinson had done it in baseball, but it hadn't happened here in the Deep South yet. Yeah, exactly. You know, the lack of professional sports obviously had not permeated mm -hmm. to Legion Field, to Alabama at that time. And he told me that it was really about 30 years later mm -hmm. when it really started taking on significance. You know, he played with John Hanna. Yeah. with the Patriots guy that was on the opposite sideline at Legion Field. They never really talked about it. It was when he talked to other people that he realized the impact that he had. When I had the opportunity to talk to older black men and, and older black people from who grew up in Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, you know, those areas, Louisiana, those areas down, down south, and, and they reminisce about that football game. And a lot of times they didn't know I was the guy. They were just talking about it and whatnot. And then they found out I was the guy that played in it and did, you know, did what I did. And then I, you know, I would always see the sparkle in their eye and, and the proudness of, of what had happened that evening because it opened the door to, uh, for the younger generation to do what they wanted to do. And you know, Sam still looks like he could go out yeah, there yeah. And, and rush for about 100 yards. Uh, and part of the the, the, the uniqueness of this game mm -hmm. is the lore that has kind of built up around it. Right. Things that we don't know are true. There's one fact in particular that's disputed. It's whether Coach Bryant came and got Sam Cunningham right. out of the USC locker room and took him to Alabama's. I asked him about that. He'll answer that tomorrow on the Red Can't Zone. Can't wait for this story. Fascinating story. All, All right, right, Chris, thanks a lot. Thanks. Let's go back to Jane. Coming up.